the single best indicator that you should be using. So welcome to a new video. So in this video, we're going to talk about um, this indicator that hasn't been talked about much um, because a lot of times people are always looking at the indicators which tell you to buy or sell. But this single best indicator that you should be using doesn't, doesn't really give you the direction, but nonetheless, it helps you to manage your risk. So it's very important uh, in trading to manage your risk and this indicator helps you to do just that. Okay, so in today's lesson, what we'll cover is we'll talk about the average true range indicator. So obviously, the indicator that, uh, that you be, we think that you should be using would be the average true range indicator. Of course, we'll explain to you how it works. I mean, we don't just want to tell you that the average true range indicator is good. We want to tell you how it works and also give you more concrete reasons why you should be using it and uh, how, how, you can be, how you can actually use it. So let's dive straight into the lesson. Okay, so this average true range indicator tells you how many pips the currency pair has moved on average in the past X amount of candles. Okay, so uh, what does it mean? So that means that um, if the, the, the range of the body, for example, the lower tail to the, uh, the upper tail, the higher tail, the entire range of the um, candlestick is 10, right? Um, the last... The last 14 candles, each of this um, range you add together and then you divide by the number of candles, okay? So uh, we'll show you more about this in the next slide, but we just want to say that the average true range indicator is nothing sexy, okay? But it is so important if uh, you want to learn how to trade, okay? If you want to learn how to set the correct stop loss, it is so, so, so important. So let's move on to uh, how it looks like. So um, this average true range indicator uh, is a rather common indicator. Okay, you can um, find it in MetaTrader, in TradingView, uh, most brokerages uh, platforms uh, already have this pre-installed, so it's easy to find it. So um, this screenshot over here is a screenshot from uh, MetaTrader 4. So as you can see that uh, the period is 14. Okay, the 14 is, uh, it refers to the past 14 candles. Okay, um, 14 is also the, uh, the, the default setting for MetaTrader as well as other, other platforms. I'm not too sure about your platform, but uh, we recommend 14, the past 14 candles. Okay, so you can see the screenshot below. Um, this represents uh, the indicator, how the indicator looks like. Okay, so let, let me just uh, explain to you um, how does this work. So over here, you can see that uh, there's a number here, 0 0.9329, okay? Uh, this ATR is actually for the currency pair pound yen, okay? GBP, JPY. So 0 0.9329. So what does 0 0.9329 means? Okay, that means in the last 14 candles, the average range of a candle is 93 pips, okay? That's how you read it. Okay, not, nothing too sexy, nothing too uh, complicated. And you just read it as 93 pips. That means that uh, within a candle range, you can expect that, um, that it, it, it will fluctuate between uh, about 93 pips, meaning from the low of the candle to the high of the candle, you should see that um, 93 pips movement, which is pretty volatile for this pair. Because uh, if you've been trading, you understand that pound crosses, such as pound yen, uh, moves a lot. Okay, so 93, point, 93 pips. So let's move on. So this now we are trying to convince you why you should be using uh, this indicator. Okay, so as we said earlier on, the average true range indicator is crucial for money management. And money management is how you make money. Okay, you, you, you make money not by getting every single trade right. You make money by managing your risk, right? And winning big when you're right and losing small when you are wrong. Okay. In fact, money management is what separates winning traders from losing traders. So how do you use the average true range indicator? You can use the ATR, in short, right, as a guide to set your stop loss. Okay, so uh, what do we mean by that? Okay, so for example, in this case early on, we say that, oh, um, the, you know, the, the uh, average true range is zero, uh, 93 pips. So for example, let, let's just assume that this is a daily chart. Okay, let's just assume that this is for daily chart. So you understand that oh, market tends to range uh, about 93 pips, right, from low to high. Okay, that means that if you are doing a day, day trading strategy, then ideally you, you want to, let's say price has dropped, for, has 
drop 40 pips, you, you know that probably has another 50 pips more to drop. So if you're going to buy, then you want to set a stop loss greater than uh, greater than 50 pips in stop loss. Okay, that means you want to set your stop loss beyond the range for the day. Okay, so um, let's say if price today uh, opens at uh, maybe let me just uh, write write it out so that it's clearer. Okay, so let me just write it here. Okay, so let's say um, okay, let's say price today open at one three nine. Just, 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 just as an example, opens at one three nine. Okay, price drops to one three four. One three, sorry, one three eight point eight. Okay, that's a drop of about um twenty pips, right? Okay, so you understand that oh, okay, um, based on the past fourteen candles, uh, price can probably drop the, uh, on average maximum drop of one three eight point one there about all if you want to be exact o three uh o seven right because it's uh over here you can see that it's uh ninety three so you just take uh right one three nine minus ninety three equals one three eight point oh seven right so if let's say you're going to be buying at um maybe at here okay you want to set your stop loss below this level minimally because you know that Based on the past 14 candles, um, the maximum drop possible is 138.07. So you don't want to put your stop loss at maybe 138.6, 138.4, because you know that it's very likely that the market will actually take you out. Okay, so this is one of the many ways you can use uh, ATR. The other way is also um, to set take profit. Okay, let's consider that you are buying at, uh, let's say you are buying at uh, 138 again. Okay, so the low for the day is uh, 138. So you know that um, the max, maximum range equals 138.8. Let's say that you buy at the low for today, just nice, right? You can just do this plus 93, 93 pips. So, or rather, 0 0.93 equals to, you get 139.73. So this is, uh, you know that this is the maxim maximum range that price can move in a day, or at least um, based on statistics. Of course, this is not always true, but you can kind of set your take profit in that way. So you know that it's likely that a price will go to a maximum 139.73. You can probably take a, a set a take profit at maybe 139.6, okay, just to secure your profit if you're just trying to trade, um, you know, the intraday ranges, okay? So, yep, actually, we didn't want to cover that, but suddenly we felt that it's important, so we just uh, cover it for you. So, anyway, uh, early on, we said that the default setting is 14, okay, it represents the average range for the past 14 candles. Uh, another point to note is that uh, check this indicator during the US uh, Euro session only, okay, a lot of uh, gurus out there don't teach you this. Uh, reason for this because um, if you check at the start of the day, then the current candle is still very small. And um, this default setting of 14, or rather ATR, considers the current candle that's also moving. So if the day has just started, then your um, first candle, your candle number one is going to be very small and it's going to skew your results. So check it during the US and uh, Euro session crossover because sometimes, you know, the Asia session has, uh, set, has, has traded, the Euro session has traded, and most importantly, there's maximum volatility, which is during the crossover session. So always check it during um, the, the crossover, okay? This is very important when it comes to using this indicator. Okay, so just a summary of what you have learned, okay? We talk about uh, what the average true range indicator is, right? It's the average range and uh, how it works. It just takes the past uh, X amount of candles and calculate the average range, okay? We also talk about why you should be using it to set stop loss and also actually take profit. So if you're not using it, please go check it out. Please check this indicator out, right? Um, this indicator is... It doesn't give you direction, but it can help your training so, so, so much. So, uh, yep, if you have any questions, uh, comment down the uh, section below, okay? Um, if you like our content, make sure you subscribe because we come out with videos like this to help you. Okay, our videos are geared towards beginners so that uh, we can help more beginners uh, learn this skill in Forex. Okay, so uh, that's about it for this video. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.